<laughs> they released DLC for Alien Isolation. So, I'm playing some of it and making videos. It's called Corporate Lockdown, though in the game it's called Ransom. It's three new maps. Severance, Scorcher, Loose Ends. Uh, as you can see, some people have already got hacks or whatever out to make it so they can win the game in three seconds. It's 25 milliseconds. That's kind of bullshitty, sad, but I don't play it for the leaderboards. I play it for the fun excitement for more opportunities to scare myself shitless by the alien. So to remind everyone, survivor mode is sort of the alien isolation experience uh, con squeezed down into one distinct area. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I played through Basement, which was one that was included with the full game. You could, if you bought the the Stromo DLC, you also got a few characters, Dallas and Parker and Ellen Ripper herself. If you had the Last Survivor pack, and then you got our new character here, Ransom. Uh, I'll get them in a minute. So we have the new pack with three maps, including the ability to play all three in a row without interruption. Which, according to this, someone beat all three maps in 59 seconds. And, yeah. In fact, I'm still I'm still even questioning the guy who completed all three maps in four minutes. And, but that's beside the point. It's about the experience. The maps I like playing them that it takes a while because they're fun. I like the experience. So, three maps and a new character called Ransom. Ransom is hard mode. Put simply, you know, he, he, he's harder than hard mode because both Amanda and Ellen they get flame towards. And you may notice actually, you got Amanda and Ellen here, but what happened to Dallas and Parker? You can't play them in the. Uh, Thing map, which is really weird. I don't know if that's a bug that needs to be fixed or something weird, but you can play as Ransom, Amanda or Ellen, and both Amanda and Ellen get flame chores. Ransom doesn't. He gets a revolver, fucking useless. A bolt gun, relatively useless. It's useless against the alien. And a level 2 SAT. No fucking idea what that is. Uh, flare, blueprints for EMP and noisemaker. Which I'll get to in a minute how annoying that can be. So, because I'm a masochistic bastard, I will run with Ransom. And I will play the first level. I was going to do the gauntlet at all three of them. But I can barely survive to the first level. So I can't imagine doing all three. And yes, that met level does go on fire. And it's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't played much of Loose Ends yet. Severance. Ransom. Uh... I never finished up my last video, which was a long rambling review of the game, where, yes, I was completely biased in every possible way, therefore, you can't really take it as a genuine review. I've since upped my graphics a bit, higher textures, and, uh, so I'm running pretty much with everything on Ultra, so it's even prettier. There. The items you pick up at the start are random, actually. They're not always the same items. You, It's actually quite random. So you can actually get screwed really badly right from the get-go if you don't get what you need. In the case of me, I need one more thing. And it's not shotgun shells. I need to make a noise maker. Noise maker useful. And it's not flame tour fuel, because I do not have a flame tour. And ah uh, shit. So I'm missing one item. Uh I like the starting area, it's very pretty. There seems to be a lot of story hinting things, like you know, he's got his little suspicious uh back station back here with the cables running off. Maybe he's it maybe it's not meant to be legal. Maybe he's up to something illegal there. Comms unit parts. And then over here, this looks really suspicious. Family trip, dentist. I don't know if that's just a reuse from somewhere else. Maybe. Just kind of fits with the character a bit more if he's a bit of a. Uh, 
uh, asshole, corporate asshole. Right. Let's get going. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Look at those mad fans. Oh, I see your shadow. Evil, evil fuck. And I see you. You evil, evil fuck. Staying away from that fucking vent. <laughs> ah, what do we get this time, brain? Bolt gun ammo! Blasting cap. Yeah, some stuff randomized, some don't seem to randomize, because. The stuff inside these are always seem to be random. Yeah, the stuff out in the open isn't. Well, it's random each time you play through, because it's not the same as the last time, but if you respawn, the stuff found in the open stays the same. So, if you've got a crappy start, it's probably better to reload from the main menu. Or hope that those things give you something good. Uh, but yeah, I'm completely biased. I love this game, I think it's great fun. I like survival mode. I like so the DLC a lot of people aren't happy with it because it's just survivor mode. But they kind of they're not exactly they weren't exactly lying. They said the DLC was gonna be focused around survivor mode. the way and then quickly look back he's like were you a model in a past life or something mr alien right. we are officially staying away we all agreed we're staying away okay i'm trying to talk here we're staying away from the vents Survivor mode, there is no difficulty changing, it's outright hard all the way. Did he come back? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love the old fucking fashioned. Really old fashioned. I'm a server! I swear I am! I'm a cutting edge computer. 
really, I can keep a compute. I can keep a space station up afloat with this sort of technology. Of course I can. How do you think wonderful Russian near the space station stayed up for so long? Alright, let's go. I love that server. I just love the noises and things. Dear alien, where the fuck are you? very next room to me. That's nice. I'm not... Woo! Woo! I found a shotgun! Ho, ho, ho. Oh, fuck. You notice he seems to be like 30 seconds behind me in the rooms I'm in. Imagine the times where people could do it in three minutes and so on. Yeah, I can believe that. Once you know how the levels are laid out and where the fuck you're meant to go. But that's not what's enjoyable about enjoyable about these things. What's enjoyable about these things is the eight or nine minute long terrifying sneak around trying to avoid that fucker. I enjoy that. I enjoy that immensely. So, I'm happy with the DLC, mostly, even though I've mostly only played the first level, because I cannot get the fuck past it. Uh, I've briefly looked at the second and the third level. The second level has a really cool fire effect, which I might jump over and have a look at. But I was hoping to beat level one. But it seems that I have not been so successful. I haven't shot the alien. Actually, I doubt you could shoot the alien with the bolt gun. I mean, it makes a ton of noise before it actually shoots. I'm going to quit back to Batman and do a different level because I assume people would like to see a different level and see me shit myself immensely repeatedly again. I will stick playing hard mode ransom. <laughs> he gets a revolver, bolt gun, level two sat. Uh, um, yeah, truthfully, I actually saw this. There were. Please don't do that. Um, did I just say rescue a survivor? Yes, to save civilian. I am curious. Um, but yeah, the there were people who complained on the forums to Alien Isolation that they did not want to play the game as a girl. You know, those sort of people. Who, Weirdos who give video game people a really lots of stuff. I like lots of stuff. Really bad rep and you know generally unlikely people, but I somewhat suspect or I hope that the addition of ransom is almost a creative assembly. Ha <laughs> ha fuck you, back to them. Because like, yeah, you can play a guy. Well we're going Resident Evil here. And you're Chris Redfield, you get a knife. That's all. Okay. So, when I initially saw this map, I was really, really nervous that they were gonna go, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. So, not having to use the security hacker thing. Alright, let's be quick. I was really worried. I first saw this level 
that they're just going to redo the uh, medical section from the full game. You know, just this time it's Survivor, so you got to do it quickly. But, as you can very clearly see, this is a very different area of the medical area. Also, with a few bugs, I think. Got two movements. Be free. Who is that? Ah! Survivor mode has firmly and completely put me off fucking vents. I use vents a lot in the full campaign. In survivor mode, no, no, fuck you to vents. Dead man. Pretty light! You like the pretty light! Do not get distracted and look the other way. You keep looking at the pretty light. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I hate you with your fucking gas torches. I don't have any gas torches. Oh, 
Well, I don't know what I picked up, but according to this, it was pointless. I don't know what I've done, but I've seen to have sent the alien very far away from me. Hiding, 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 hiding! Hide! <laughs> Fuck! I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. I'm so fucking dead on top. Oh, you son of a bitch, go away. Fail both the extra objectives. Nope. Oh, there he comes back. I'm slightly nervous. Like earlier, I picked up two movements. Yes, here. How much easier the main campaign is because you have you have a map to help you know where the fuck you're going. Yes, I know you're still there. I know you're a complete prick and not moving because then you know it pisses me off. You ugly, evil. Oh fuck, he's gonna see me when he turns. I'm so dead. 
Evil. Evil game. You evil game. Oh, so that da -da -da -da. <laughs> Yes. Fuck yeah. Hey, I earned a lot of points for saving the villain, never detected, no flamer. 3,000 bonus points for engineer. I like this mode. 